Hello guys, in this video we will discuss Khrushchev law's application in inductance and for that I am uh, taking one example. So this uh, is a part of a circuit you can see this is not an open circuit this is a part of a circuit uh, which is already closed one but I am concentrated on this part only this branch only in fact and we have to find out the potential difference VA minus VB in this branch uh, for the three cases which are shown. So the first case is the fact that the current uh, is 2 ampere and it is constant. Now we know that uh, the if current is constant, this is solution 1. So if, <coughs> if I is constant, then EMF across inductor would be 0 because uh, EMF across inductor is given by L di by dt with a negative sign. So this di by dt is 0 because I is constant. So in Khrushchev law we always write the EMF across all the elements of the circuit and we sum, uh, sum up them and uh, after summing up will uh, equate them for, with 0 because in a closed loop the sum of all the potential differences across all the elements would be 0. So starting from point VA applying Khrushchev law we can write, write VA the EMF across this inductor would be 0 and we are moving from plus to minus across the battery so VA minus 5 and the we are moving the direction of current therefore minus i r r is 2 and this is equal to vp so let me remind you that in the current electricity uh, lesson i have already uh, demonstrated how you can apply this khrushchev law in these kind of circuits so uh, this is the application and va minus vb would be equal to 5 plus 2i and VA minus VB would be 5 plus 2 into the current is also 2 so VA minus VB will be equal to 9 volts now in the second case in the second case current is uh, instantaneously equal to 2 ampere and it is equal it is increasing at a rate of 1 ampere per second as well so uh, we know that when the current is increasing then the emf is developed across the inductor so you can see that that when this current is increasing then the e polarity of this emf would be like that because it will oppose the incremental nature of this current and hence the positive sign would be at this point and negative polarity would be at this point so writing the kvl again that va and this is minus e because we are moving from plus to minus uh, therefore it would be va minus e and this is minus 5 we are moving across the cell and minus i into 2 is equal to vb so va minus vb is equal to this is e plus 5 plus 2i so va minus vb is equal to e is the emf across this cell and now we are only concerned with the magnitude and the magnitude of the emf across this inductor is l di by dt plus this is 5 plus 2 into i is 2 now we know that <coughs> the value of inductance is 1 and di by dt is 1 also it is increasing at a rate of 1 plus this is 9 5 plus 4 is 9 so va minus vb is equal to 10 volts so this is the uh, answer in the second case now in third case in which it is given that the current is decreasing at a rate of 1 ampere per second in this case
in this third case we can see that the only difference would be the fact that the polarity would be like that that there will be a negative sign and there will be the positive sign because this current is decreasing with time and emf would oppose its decremental nature and it would uh, uh, oppose that current to decrease and it would support that current okay so <coughs> the uh, krishoff law would be va plus e because now we are moving from minus to plus and this is minus 5 minus i into 2 is equal to vb so va minus vb is equal to e in fact minus e plus 5 and this is plus 2 into 2 because current is also 2 so this va minus vb is equal to minus l di by dt plus 9 and we know that the magnitude of l di by dt is 1 so it is 8 volts in the third case now let's move on the next question <coughs> in this question you can see that this figure shows an inductor of two henry inductance and uh, there is a current which is increasing at a rate of 5 ampere per second we have to calculate the potential difference va vx minus <coughs> vy so uh, this is very simple one so first of all we can predict the polarity that if the current is increasing then the polarity would be like that and therefore the upper potential would be of point x and the lower potential would be of point y so vx minus vy would be equal to l di by dt you should always remember that as we have already discussed the polarity of the emf so after writing the polarity or after discussing the polarity we have to write only the magnitude of emf so vx minus vy is equal to l is 2 and di by dt is 5 so this is equal to 10 volts okay so let's move on the next question in this question uh, we have to find out the rate of change of current so uh, starting from this point this one we are moving and we don't know that the current is whether increasing nature or it is of decreasing nature so we are assuming that current is of increasing nature so i am writing that there is a assumption that current is increasing so i have assumed that current is increasing and on the basis of that assume assumption i can say that this polarity would be like that that here it would be a neg positive sign and here it would be a negative sign so starting from this point this one i can write that this is 10 minus 5 minus 2 into 2 you can see that uh, here i am moving from plus to minus so it would be Minus five, and uh, I am moving the direction of current through the resistance, so it would be minus two into two. And in this case, here it would be minus e because I am moving from plus to minus, and minus three because again I am moving from plus to minus through the battery, and the point at which I have reached. it has a potential of 20 volts so it would be uh, written uh, at the right hand side of this equal to mark so this is the <coughs> equation and e would be equal to this is 
टेन माइनस फाइव माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री माइनस ट्वेंटी सो ई वुड बी इक्वल टू दिस इज फाइव माइनस फोर इज वन एंड दिस इज माइनस ट्वेंटी टू ओके सो दिस इज माइनस ट्वेंटी टू वोल्ट्स नाउ दिस ई एम एफ इज कमिंग आउट टू बी नेगेटिव विच मीन्स दैट इफ आई हैव कंसिडर्ड दिस करेंट टू बी ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग नेचर देन दिस ई एम एफ इज ओनली द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दैट ई एम एफ अक्रॉस द इंडक्टर एंड हेंस इट्स वैल्यू वुड बी एल डी आई बाई डी टी एंड इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी टू सो दिस एल इज टेन हेनरी सो दिस डी आई बाई डी टी is equal to minus 2.2 ampere per second and this negative sign represents a fact that this current would be of decreasing nature because we have considered the current to be of increasing nature and if a negative sign is coming then uh, the result would be just opposite to the assumption now we move on the next question now in this question you can see this is a, a branch which is a part of our circuit and the, we have to find out the potential difference va minus vb and the current is decreasing at a rate of 10 to the power 3 amperes per second as well as the instantaneous current in this circuit is 5 ampere so so uh, the polarity of emf would be like that that there would be a negative sign negative terminal at this position and positive at this position because the current is decreasing so this emf would be in support of that current so this va minus i into 1 plus 5 in fact 15 and plus e is equal to vb again i am saying that va Minus one into i and plus fifteen and we are moving from minus to plus. Then again it would be plus e and that would be equal to vb. Now va minus vb is equal to uh, i minus fifteen minus e. So va minus vb would be equal to i. The value of i is five ampere, and uh, this is minus fifteen. And the magnitude of e is L d i by d t. So V a minus V b is equal to this is minus ten. Uh, this is minus L is equal to five into ten raised to power minus three. It is milli Henry. And d i by d t is equal to ten raised to power three. So v a minus v b is equal to minus fifteen volts. Okay. Now let's move on the next question. In this question, it is given that suppose the E M F of this cell uh, varies with time. and the current in this circuit is 3 plus 5t where i is in ampere and t is in seconds now the value of this resistance is 4 amp ohm and the value of inductance is 6 henry so we need to find out the expression for emf of the cell with the, as a function of time so uh, let's suppose we are applying the kvl and we are starting from this position a b c d so applying kvl in this closed loop so uh, starting from a i can write that minus i r and when i am moving across this inductor i can see that current is of increasing nature so if i is equal to 3 Plus five t, then d i by d t, the rate of change of current is five. So uh, this current is of increasing nature. Hence, the polarity would be like that. 
and when I will move across this inductor then uh, there would be a positive sign in fact negative sign minus E and uh, when I will move across this cell then minus capital E in fact plus capital E would be equal to 0. So I am again repeating that I have started from A and this is minus IR and this is minus E and this is plus capital E. So this I is equal to 3 plus 5T. The value of resistance R is equal to 4 ohms and the EMF of inductor is L D I V D T L is 6 and D I V D T is 5 and the EMF of this cell is E so it is plus E is equal to 0 so E is equal to this is 30 and this is uh, plus 12 and plus 20 T so this EMF is equal to 42 plus 20 T volts now let's move on the next question in this question it is given that in this circuit when the current is 2 ampere and it is increasing at a rate of 1 ampere per second then Va minus Vb is 8 volts so if I write the equation of Va minus Vb applying uh, KVL then I can write that Va and if this current is increasing then the polarity across this inductor would be like that and current is going like that so Va <coughs> minus E minus IR is equal to VB so VA minus VB is equal to E plus IR and this VA minus VB is 8 and E is L D I by D T plus this I is 2 ampere and value of R is unknown now this D I by D T is also equal to 1 ampere per second so L into 1 plus 2 R so this 2 R plus L is equal to 8 this is the first equation now the second condition is given that when this current is 2 ampere and it is decreasing at a rate of 1 ampere per second then the potential difference is Va minus Vb is 4 volts so I can say that Va minus <coughs> now now in this case if this current is decreasing then the polarity across this inductor would be like that and hence uh, Va plus E minus IR is equal to Vb and this Va minus Vb is equal to IR minus E and Va minus Vb is equal to I is 2 and R is unknown minus E is the <coughs> value of EMF across this inductor and it is L di by dt now the value of di by dt is uh, again 1 so this is Va minus Vb is equal to 2 into R and the magnitude of di by dt is 1 so this is 2R minus L this is the uh, and the value of Va, Va minus Vb is equal to 4 so 2R minus L is equal to 4 so if we uh, add up these two equations adding 1 and 2 we can see that 4R is equal to 12 and R is equal to 3 as well as uh, L is equal to uh, 2 Henry so the correct answer would be option number A so this was the package complete numerical package on 
the application of Khrushchev law in inductance and in the next video we will uh, start the very important part of this chapter which is LR circuits. Thank you.